Hi everyone, welcome back to My Creative Ego. As you can probably guess, it's gonna be another Hobby Lobby haul. These prices are just so great that it is pretty much a battle between the Hobby Lobby sale clearance aisle versus my wallet. I really love the sales, my wallet maybe not so much. So we are currently on round three. I'm gonna pick up a little bit from where I stopped at on my last Tuesday morning. No, it's not Tuesday. What? Okay, I mean Hobby Lobby haul. You would think that I'd get that correct considering the fact that we are on round three of this haul. Um, so yes, Hobby Lobby. So I did talk about two other packs of skin tone markers in my previous video. This is another set that I wanna talk about. One, I really love the price for $4.99. Two, it works very, very well. And I love the spectrum of skin tones that they offer. So I'm gonna do a really quick comparison with the other two that I purchased. But if you want more in-depth information on those particular brands, I'll leave it in the description box down below. I believe it was either in round one or two of my videos, but I will link them in the description box down below. So I just finished talking about the Spectrum brand and those were the Illustrator markers. Now we have the Spectrum brand with the watercolor markers and or aqua markers. I gotta tell you guys, I was a little hesitant in picking this up because I have purchased aqua markers in the past, a different brand, and I didn't use them. so. For this price, I told myself I'd go ahead and give it a try, and I'm so happy that I did. I really love the colors in this palette. This is actually the floral palette, and these are the different types of um, tips that you get with it. This is a set of 12 pieces, and on the back, it actually says that it is rich, vibrant, water-based markers with super smooth coverage, easily blended with water for a variety of subtle tones. So as you can see, I started a watercolor project, but I will complete it at the end of the video. For right now, I wanna move on to another Spectrum product, and that is called Sparkle. So these are glitter brush pens, and a lot of you have probably seen this already. I just do wanna warn you that when you get it, you wanna just double check and make sure that none of the ink spilled, because as you can see in this particular one, the ink kind of got everywhere on this. So what you wanna do, of course, is one, don't waste that ink. It's like glitter gold, right? <laughs> so you can always take that ink and you can use a water brush pen and then you can make another project with it like I did right here. have probably already guessed it, but I am really not that good at watercoloring. But I gotta tell you, I really do love it. I don't know, I feel really artistic when I watercolor. Someday, through what I like to call YouTube University, I will find videos on how to properly do that. But in the meantime, if you don't watercolor, even just taking these pens and just swiping them onto some cardstock or watercolor paper, that's what I did here. This set that you're seeing right now is called Glitz and Glamour, and this beautiful pink is called Pink Garnet. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they ever thought about going into the makeup business because how cute would this pink be on a lipstick? And the answer is super cute, right? <laughs> so the three colors on this collection are Aquamarine, Pink Garnet, and of course, Amethyst. And then the next one is called Winter Warmers. They have Red Berry, Holly Leaf, and Starry Sky. And on some of these sets, the bristles were really dry and stiff, but you don't wanna put this under running water. What you wanna do is basically just leave it on its own because there's a way that you actually have to prep this. So it says on here that to use one, you have to remove that yellow retainer ring as you see here. And then you're going to put the top back on and then you're gonna twist clockwise to engage the cartridge. There's actually one point where I thought it was clicked all the way, but you have to completely go all the way. So you gotta make sure that there's no gap between the top and the bottom like it is here. <laughs> And then they say to hold the pen upright and squeeze until it appears. That for me took forever. So I kind of like tilted it just a little bit and did that. And then it says wait for a few seconds until brush is fully primed. And at that point, your bristles will work perfectly fine. Sometimes though, when you're using this, even though it does have a little push button that you're supposed to use, 
you might actually push it a little too hard and then all the ink comes cascading out. And if that happens, once again, what you wanna do is save that ink. Yeah. So as you can see here, I'm actually just gonna lift all this extra ink from this watercolor paper and I'm going to transfer it over to another watercolor paper. You guys probably all remember that I am making all these little designs on this paper with, I don't know, what is this, like a little wax crayon or something? But I got a whole bunch of these from one of my Michaels hauls, and I will leave that in the description box down below. It was actually from one of my grab bags. So if you guys have not seen a Michaels grab bag haul, I don't know, those things are just so interesting. I can watch those for days on end. Um, but I will leave my videos on the description box down below so you can see where I got the materials for this. And let's see, oh, okay, so I just wanna do a recap. So there was four total sets that I picked up. So you prime all the pens the same way and everything is pretty much the same except for the fact that they have different colors. So you have four sets which are metallics and that comes with spun gold, onyx black, and sterling silver. Next set is winter warmers which comes with red berry, starry sky, and holly leaf and then the Glitz and Glamour, which is Pink Garnet, Aquamarine, and Amethyst, and then the Perfect Pastels, which comes with Rose Quartz, Moonstone, and Cosmos. And if you guys need a closer look at this, you can always press the pause button, um, but as you can see, you know, it's really important to shake that pen every time you use it so you get that sparkle like you see on here. And then moving on to another Spectrum item. So you guys saw earlier in the video, we did have the Spectrum Aqua markers. This time around, we are going with the alcohol-based markers. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably already familiar with this. There were three different packs that I saw at my store. The first one were the Brights, and this is what it looks like. It was $12.49, and it comes with 24 pieces. And then of course you get your chisel tip and then your pointed tip like you see here. And the next set was actually Vintage and this was all the colors that it came with and I really do love that when you get these they actually have their own little trays that they're in and then the final one were the lights so I actually went back a few times to get these I actually picked up one and then I used them and they were really good none, none of them actually none of them are dried out which I was super happy about and so I went back to pick up a few more and I was worried at first because I knew there was a total of three sets that I saw and I saw the other one when I went back, but then the third set wasn't in the same area. So if you guys are looking for some of these items, you may wanna look at like the end caps and the art area. These markers were in my scrapbook area. So the lights, I actually, the lights, there was the brights, the vintage, and the lights. Those are the three different sets that I picked up. So on the lights one, that initially was in the scrapbook section when I first saw it, but then they moved it to the art section. So I was able to find all three and complete this little mini collection, which was actually quite perfect because there was a spot in my room, in my craft room, where it would fit perfectly. So you guys probably remember these pens or markers that I hauled from my Tuesday morning haul. And so these are just kind of like my everyday markers if I just want to work on something really quickly. And I actually created this little, um, what is this? This little container using all my leftover washi tape. So as you can see here, all these markers that I picked up, it is like the perfect fit. And I think it matches so beautifully and it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And I am so off topic now, so I'll get back on track. So as you can tell, there were illustrator markers, there was aqua markers, and then they had the Spectrum Noir markers. And if you go onto their website, you can actually print out the coloring chart. So they have the coloring chart where all the colors are filled in. You can print it out that way, or you can print it out with just the name of the marker so that you can actually color it in yourself if you truly wanna see what that marker looks like. And then going back to the little mini watercoloring projects that I was talking about earlier, I guess we should finish that up. Um, and then the other watercolor project that I worked on with the little pink, blue, and the purple, the little glamour and glitz set. So this particular one is for One Smart Cookie. So it's a graduation card. And I can't wait to do more projects. I'm once again really thankful for everyone who's been leaving comments on my previous videos. 
I am so excited to try out all of your suggestions, so I will be probably making an updated video as well. And this particular video, again, I would say that it was supposed to stop at round three, seriously, you guys, but then, <laughs> dun dun dun, I went back to Hobby Lobby again. Round number four, I'm focusing on birthday presents for summer as well as some Christmas presents, of course, all on sale. If you guys are doing a head start on any birthday or Christmas shopping, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you back here. Thanks again for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day. And roll on down to my newest videos by hitting subscribe.